Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to these beautiful pits and utter depths of all of the internet and, and YouTube. And if you're here, thanks for being here. I really appreciate you being here. If you've been following along in the last two videos, I've been on this epic road trip across America. I left my home in early July. It's now early August. I left my home uh, in Georgia and I went up to Montana and then to Los Angeles, and now I make my way back home to Georgia. But all along the way, I've been hitting up thrift stores across across America in small towns and cities, and it's been such an amazing journey to find these thrift stores and discover America through these eyes uh, of these small towns and thrift stores along the way. And it's also been helping to, to mitigate the cost and damage that has been done uh, to my wallet while on the road. It's certainly an expensive trip, but I found some really cool, amazing treasures along the way. So I'm going to recoup some money. And it's such a cool time to be alive, to be able to travel and make money along the way. And the last two videos aren't too important. If you want to check those out, that would be amazing. But you don't need to. This isn't like a, you know, a Hollywood uh, trilogy where you need to know the story. But I'm just glad you're here on this video. And this specific video is going to cover four thrift stores, specifically in Montana, the great state of Montana. I had never been there before. An amazing, amazing state that you have to get out to if you haven't. And it's so cool to see that you really can find profitable items no matter where you go. So stick around because I find some really cool stuff and it's really going to help recoup this. My iced coffee budget alone on this trip is more than the average mortgage in this country. Anyway, let's get to thrifting in the big sky state of Montana. So before we hop in, that number you're going to see road trip income. Keep in mind that is a very rough net profit. This is after selling fees, purchase price, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And we left coming into Montana at the last video, $433 on this road trip. So let's head into Montana, make some money. Let's go. And here we go. We're so excited. At least I'm excited. TC Resale Donation Thrift Store here in Missoula, Montana. My first thrift store and color sale yellow we're looking for some yellow we're not looking for these clothes although they do, they were good prices but if you've been here before you know we're headed straight to the hard goods i need those hard goods that's what she said and we're always we're always throwing those average what one or two that's what she said into these videos so we're going to start off strong by saying that's what she said find a sony dream machine and i'm bringing this straight back to my cousin because i just got done telling him that i find a lot of sony dream machines they're not massively expensive or don't have a ton of value they've certainly come down over the years but they still have some value you can find them cheap and sell them for about 20 bucks now vhs i'm always on the lookout i think we all are for that cars that disney cars vhs which just goes for a massive money no luck today as always but i did find this casio label it uh it's only fellow selling two bucks and it's it's uh, about 15 to 17 on ebay so it was a quick little score and that's uh, that's coming home with me i do check the books here i don't always look at books but when i have trouble finding stuff in new stores i do just kind of scan the books and i found this box sets usually do pretty well uh when i find the right ones anyway uh five bucks for this has some, has a little bit of a tear but nothing i can't uh fix up with some some simple tape and it sells pretty decently i think it sells on amazon for about 45 bucks used so i'll make a little bit over 20 bucks for that so it's a fun little find out here in montana then we're hitting the games i love selling games as you guys know i sell a ton of games specifically used board games they're really good they, at least i do really good with them on F, uh, amazon specifically through their fba program which i've talked about in the past and uh, here's another thing I talk about all the time, Quelf. I find so many Quelfs. Of all board games I've ever sold in my life, Quelf is the most popular. I've sell, I don't know, 50 per year, I would say, over the last 10 plus years or, or so, something like that. Again, find more VHS. Looking for, for that uh, elusive Cars VHS. I'm not going to find it, of course, because I'm starting to believe they may not be real as I've never seen one kind. I mean, I think I might've seen more unicorns than cars VHS Barney. I always check out Barney VHS. The, these ones in here, they were only a buck. They don't have a ton of value. However, if you can find enough of them and you can pay, uh, pay small amounts of money for, uh, you can actually lot Barney VHS is up in large lots and get a hundred plus dollars. So uh, at worst, I'm, I'm going to pick them up when I see them for a dollar. Uh, sometimes 
individually they do have some value so keep an eye out for a bar hope thrift boutique we're off i love when i find stores that have hope in the title it just gives you that internal feeling that everything is going to be okay that we're going to go inside we're going to find some treasure so we don't have to hitchhike all the way back to georgia see how clean and organized it is in here every store i went to in montana so clean and so organized i was really shocked with how amazing that is and i thought that would be an indicator of the prices inside, but they're actually really reasonable. Uh, I found these shoes when I walked in, only selling for six bucks. Maybe it's a dollar or two more than I might pay at a typical uh, or your average thrift store, but these do sell for 30 to $40, all things in. So I picked these up, great condition, super clean, happy to get those. And I find this, I, I used to find these external frame hiking packs a lot more often. Not so much. This is the first one I found in many years, but I knew it would have value. This is vintage Jan Sport. It's a little bit dirty. I can wipe it down, clean it, but uh, look for these things. They're easy to miss and assume that they don't have value, but I think I can get like 125 to 150 bucks for this and there's no damage. And um, I'm going to clean this up and I think I paid 16 bucks for this. So this is a fantastic find. One of the better finds of, of the whole road trip. Then in board games, you know, we're going to find some board games they had a decent amount here heads up another another game it's easy to pass by because it is so common but uh, i'm going to make about 10 bucks on this this taboo for some reason it's selling 28 on amazon and use 40 doesn't make any sense so i'm obviously uh, going to sell it for about 20 bucks used and make a good eight to ten dollars jenga quick always a good game to pick that up if you can get it for a few bucks and that sells for almost 28 on amazon so great score great set of board games here this is a little bit risky. Um, <laughs> that $9 that I, I spent on this, it's a half a bottle of perfume. I sell half bottles of perfume when they're worth it. You can see they're selling for over $200. The only one that sold, however, $135 brand new. So I don't know if this is going to sell. It's not very popular on eBay, but the return, if I can get like $75 to $80 on this, I'm throwing all caution to the wind here in Montana. I'm just in the spirit. So I bought that perfume. Then I find these uh, ink ink uh, toner, and they were they had that pink sale going on. So these were marked at twenty, but they're half off. So uh, I'm buying these for ten dollars each. They sell for at six for one hundred sixty bucks. So if I can get eighty dollars for these, then I'll be a uh, pretty happy camper with my external frame camp pack there. And then I find this open ink cartridge. Find those all the time. You can find those out in the wilds, often for fifty cents or a dollar. Uh, so look out for those open HP containers. Don't be scared of them. I don't always look at CDs. I don't know what inspired me to do it today. Maybe it's just that Montana, Montana spirit out here. But I found a couple. I didn't spend too long looking at them. I just looked at the sealed stuff. And I did find a couple decent finds. They were selling for a dollar each, I think, is what the price. And so I'll, I'll end up making like 10 or $15 between these two CDs. So I'm glad I looked. Then we're off to this next thrift store called Secret seconds and this store again super clean very organized however this was the kind of store that the employees or the people that work there definitely know what they have they look stuff up on ebay or wherever and the prices were pretty high which is unfortunate for resellers uh, you can see like these lol dolls and set you know 40 dollars. you wouldn't find that in too many thrift stores so we went straight back to the board games and i did find this risk game if you if you're unaware risk especially uh, certain years seem to have really high uh, values these ones were all in about the $30 range um, but look out for risk because they all have different prices and some can be 50 60 up to 80 even a hundred dollars this is give you an idea of the price is just like this generic Levi's uh, 1250 so this gives you an idea however we did find this dock a tot deluxe dock it's uh, you know where babies go and they rest in it and supposedly they it's comfortable but we can't confirm or deny that because they just don't answer because they're sleeping and they're little but uh got it for 12 bucks and it sells over 100 bucks so pretty good find then i find this dracula book this is a 1961 first printing so really cool fine only for a dollar 50 and it sells for about 25 bucks on ebay so uh even though the prices were high and they obviously have employees looking stuff up this is a great example that they miss stuff not everybody a lot of people assume including workers of the value of things and they just miss stuff all the time then i find this 10 bucks is too much 
But again, I'm in Montana. I'm here to spend money. I'll still make 7 or $8 on this on Amazon. So good find. We're off to Glacier National Park, but we found this Glacier thrift store. We had to get some iced coffee and pee, but we stopped in here. At least I peed. I don't know what everybody else did. Maybe they pooped. Regardless, I thought it was a great stop to, to stop in this thrift store. And it actually ended up being one of my favorite thrift stores of the whole run because of how clean it was. The prices were fantastic. And I had a really good deal. They actually offer a senior citizen discount count 50% off everything every day uh, so I happen to have my mom with me and she just so happens to be a senior citizen I'm not too far behind but I don't quite qualify it sells for 65 bucks this game on Amazon unfortunately I was restricted I tried to get approved on the spot I was denied uh, but it's only two bucks, so I got it for a dollar with my mom's discount, and it does sell for about 30 bucks on eBay. So this came home with me. Uh, it's a cool looking, unique game, so maybe I'll play it first. Then I find this wall hair attachment. Uh, I think I only paid like a dollar or two for this thing, and it sells for uh, just under $18. I paid $1.50 for this, $18 on eBay. So fun little find. It was something gross, it was this on the back of the package but through the magic of editing in my thumb i was able to clean it off wow look at that then i find these uh water drop water filters you know somebody had to open the box just to make sure that box wasn't lying and indeed make sure that uh, there was some water filter sells for about 25 bucks all in and i'm only paying two bucks for all of them so that came home one thing unique about the store that i really liked is the dvds game uh video games blu-rays are all the same price they were all two dollars didn't really matter uh what it was and i thought that was pretty cool and unique and i found some great finds like almost a hundred dollars worth of brand new blu-rays that i'm going to be selling on amazon this stack here of five and they're all a dollar each and really fantastic finds on the way out i ended up finding this cinch jacket and i'm going to hold on to it till it's colder weather maybe september october november uh, it doesn't really make much sense to sell it in the warmer months. And you can see it has $119 uh, original new price tag. And I think I paid $9 for this. So really great find. And now we're off to National Glacier National Park to not get eaten by boars. The channel's really growing, slow and steady. And I appreciate you guys who consistently reach out and watch the videos and comment. Uh, I appreciate you so much and appreciate the support. I appreciate your attention and your eyeballs and hope to see you guys in the comment section for the rest of my life.